Hi guys, Jay here from brawntoproduce.com. I hope you're all well. And just wanted to come back with a second common problems video, as there's a few more issues that we're getting asked about quite a lot. So this is the first one, and it's to do with render in place. So if you're using elements, you don't have render in place, but this is the alternative. So you would just highlight the part in question. So this block here, this MIDI block, highlight that at the top, just hover your mouse until it turns into a draw tool. You can also select the right and left points by clicking Control and Alt or Command and Option. So I'm just gonna click Alt to set the right point and click Control or Command to set the left point. And you can also move the cursor until you get the hand and then move it over. Or you can just draw it in as I said before. Okay, so with that highlighted, all you've got to do is make sure you solo the track. Obviously, there's only one track here in this demonstration, but you might have lots and lots of tracks. So make sure you solo the track, highlight the area, and then as you don't have render in place, you're just going to do a mix down. So file, export, audio mix down. Obviously, just name it whatever you want and choose the folder and everything. And the format, you may want to do this after export. Just if that's not showing, just click that arrow there. If you're trying to emulate what render in place does, then you want to create an audio track and insert into the pool. And that way it will put it underneath your current track. So export audio, or sometimes it puts it at the very bottom of your project. So just scroll down and then drag it up. So if it's asking you to convert, then just press OK. As we've asked it to come back into the project, there is the audio there. So I'll just mute that one and solo that one. And that is the audio that we've just bounced down. This was the original. So there you go, that's exactly the same as render in place. It's just, there's a few more steps to it, that's all, but same result. Another common one is over here on the right hand side in the media tab. We get some people say they can't see any samples in the bottom half of that window or any information there. A couple of reasons for this. One is a bug and one is not. Let's say you've searched for kick for example previously and you've forgotten that you've got kick in the search filter window at the top then you're not going to get anything down here because it's looking for kick so that is a common mistake we've all done it so just make sure you've got no filter at the top uh, another one there's a bug in Cubase but some people's window is right down here therefore they cannot see anything in this window and the way to fix it in some cases is to just hover your mouse until you get this kind of a symbol and when you just click it it springs into life this bottom window and you can see your samples so that's another common one another one we get all the time is how do i see the note values here you can see d sharp one g2 a sharp two well it's all to do with the vertical height zoom so if you you're probably like this if you can't see your note values it's because the midi notes are too thin 99 times out of 100, if you just zoom in vertically, they will appear. I have had one case recently where they have not appeared. I don't know what the problem is with that, but most people fix this problem just by zooming in here on the right vertically. Another one is here, when you've got an audio event, someone said it's completely blocky like that. There's no sort of definition. You can't see the transients. Well. Up here is your kind of zoom function within the window. It doesn't affect the volume. It's just literally how you view the waveform. So this one up here, get it back down to normal, probably about there. There you go. That sorts that out. The compressor can be a problem. So let's just go to insert. Might not be able to duplicate this one, but I'll show you what the problem is. You can see when I played that, there was a white bar that came down that is the gain reduction meter which is in this instance at minus 5.2 db sometimes this white bar doesn't show but you are still getting the gain reduction so it, the, the compressor is still working and you can tell that by the numbers that change here but if you want it to actually show the white bar and have a more of a graphical representation it's just another bug Close it down, you have to actually unload the compressor, load it again, 
and this usually fixes the problem. It's actually showing in my demonstration, but sometimes it does actually not show. I've seen some people say, what is this squiggly line here? Well, it means that it's in musical mode, which you can toggle on and off here, up the top here. And musical mode means it automatically time stretch the audio to your tempo that you've got set. And it means that your audio will either line up or not with your current project. So I use musical mode quite a lot, it's really great. But that's the reason. If your audio is a bit too long or a bit too short, then the first thing to do is click musical mode. And if that doesn't fix it, come up here and click, left click the object tool. You've got three options here. Click sizing applies time stretch and you can grab the bottom right hand corner and you can time stretch this manually if you wish. Either make it longer or shorter. That is time stretching the audio. And if you don't want to come up here and click that, you can just press the number one on your upper numbers, not the right hand number pad, the upper numbers and you can toggle through there with the number one. So when it's like that, I normally just go one, one, and it goes to time stretch, and I can time stretch easily and quickly. Okay, so that's that. And the final one, which is not so common, but it's a weird one. You may group some audio or some MIDI together. You might accidentally press Control G. Now that's this symbol here. This is a very, very strange one. Uh, it means you can just group things together and affect them all at once. Uh, that means you've pressed Control G probably by mistake. And to get rid of that, just do Control U to ungroup. Okay, guys, that's it for now on Common Problems 2. There will probably be a Common Problems 3 at some point. But until then, all the best, guys. Bye bye.